In Mark chapter 2, verse 5, we read, When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven you. This statement by Jesus strikes at the very heart of the gospel message, revealing the authority of Christ over both the physical and spiritual realms. It is a declaration that cuts through the superficial concerns of the world and drives us to consider the deeper reality of sin and forgiveness. Jesus addresses the paralytic with the words, Your sins are forgiven. Not as a suggestion, but as a definitive act of divine authority. In this moment, Jesus is not merely offering healing for the man's physical paralysis, but he is addressing the root cause of all human suffering, sin. The paralytic, like every human being, was in need of forgiveness. For sin is the great barrier between man and God. Jesus, in his omniscience, knew that the man's greatest need was not the ability to walk, but the need for reconciliation with God. This is why he addresses the man's sin before anything else. This act by Jesus also reveals the audacity of his claim. By declaring the man's sins forgiven, Jesus is asserting his deity. Only God can forgive sins, as stated in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 25, where God declares, I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. Jesus' declaration is a clear indication that he is God in the flesh, with all authority in heaven and on earth. This authority is further affirmed in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, where Jesus declares, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. The response of the scribes in the following verses reveals their understanding of the gravity of Jesus' words. They questioned in their hearts, Why does this man speak blasphemies like this? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Mark chapter 2 verse 7. They understood the implications of Jesus' statement, but failed to recognize his divine identity. Their blindness to the truth only highlights the depth of humanity's need for the very forgiveness Jesus offers. The paralytic's healing, which follows in Mark chapter 2 verse 11, is the visible proof of the invisible reality of forgiveness. Jesus commands the man to arise, take up your bed, and go to your house. The man's immediate obedience and healing demonstrate the power and authority of Jesus, not only to heal the body, but, more importantly, to forgive sins. This miracle serves as a sign, pointing to Jesus as the Messiah, the one who fulfills the prophecies of the Old Testament, such as those found in Isaiah chapter 53, where it is written, But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 For us today, the message is clear. The greatest need of every human being is not physical healing or material blessing, but the forgiveness of sins. Without this forgiveness, we remain estranged from God, doomed to eternal separation in hell. But in Christ, there is hope, for He has the authority to forgive sins and to reconcile us to God. This truth should strike at the core of our being, compelling us to examine our lives in light of the forgiveness offered by Jesus. The question we must all answer is whether we have received this forgiveness or whether we continue to live in the paralysis of our sins. Jesus' words to the paralytic are a reminder that true healing, true freedom, comes only through Him. As Romans chapter 8 verse 1 declares, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. This is the promise and the hope that we have in Christ, a hope that is secure because it is founded on His authority and His finished work on the cross. Let us therefore heed the call of Christ, recognizing our need for His forgiveness 
and trusting in his power to save. For in him, and in him alone, do we find the true and lasting cure for the sin that ails us all.